pleased to once again have <coughs> Teddy Peanut Butter as a proud sponsor of this year's regatta. Teddy Peanut Butter is all natural and the perfect fuel for your rowers and elite athletes. Have you had your Teddy today? Now, Teddy Peanut Butter is a local company. They're, uh, they're just up off the Mystic River. And if you've ever had the pleasure to row off the Mystic River, uh, when they roast their peanuts, it makes the entire river smell of Teddy Peanut Butter, which can both be enjoyable, because uh, rivers have unusual <coughs> smells, but it could also be quite the detriment since it makes you really hungry, and if you're trying to work out, you don't want to also feel hungry. Now we have some more rowers coming down the course and just looking at uh, them from our vantage point, the spacing seems to be uh, your standard start line spacing. Yeah, so, so I'm going to assume the, this the, is event the, number these, 11. Yeah, these are the first three. This is in, women's, in the women's club, club single. single. Course record was set in 2022 by Mary Kaleda. Uh, bow number one is Christy Bushman. Bow number two, sorry, bow number one is Claire Botterill from San Diego. Bow three is in first. Okay, so bow three has overtaken uh, from Lake Washington, Megan Northey. Um, she's a three-time NCAA D2 national champion. Um, was, um, this is her fourth year in the club singles at the head, So, and she competed in the 2021 <laughs> Olympic trials. Sounds like Megan has that a few fans on the bridge. There's some creds in this race. Give me the numbers. That is Megan in the red hall. We can hear her fans cheering for her on the bridge. And then in the Black Hall, that is bow number two, joining okay. us from White Marsh. Right. The aforementioned Christy Bushman. Which the uh, course record for the women's club single is just slightly over 20 minutes. And the last few years we, we've had, uh, so that was set in 2022. And last year came close, but no one toppled it. The, uh, as I was discussing earlier, the wind, we had about a 9 to 10 mile an hour tailwind last year, but uh, this year it's not going to be peaking over 5, so I, I'm not sure, unless somebody has a great race. Yeah, it's, it's uh, sort of west-southwest 4 right now, yeah. which is, which is doesn't, doesn't hurt, doesn't, but it doesn't help a lot. It'll make your boat feel very, very secure most yeah, of the course. It's, 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 it, yeah, it's non-factor, which is good. Yes, uh, a crossing wind would be obviously worse, but uh, I think this is this is a non non factor for any sort of racing or uh, record setting runs. Now in front of us is well, bound number four from Minnesota, uh, Morgan Robinson crossing CBC, a Wisco alum. And then in blue we have bow number six, who has overtaken bow number five. Bow number six from PCRA in New Rochelle. It's Natalia Kostenberg, uh, who has overtaken bow number five from um, Thames in, in, in the UK. Um, Christina uh, Mattiotti. This is her fourth regatta, second time in the single. Wow, this is a uh, tough course for your uh, second time in a single racing. Now approaching CBC is Allison Zolnowski from New York AC uh, out of Pelham Manor. Rowing in the Black Hull with um, primarily white blades. Generally they're white blades with a, uh, it looks as if they've been dipped in red paint. through CBC. Uh, the first three were bows number three, one, and two. Um, Northey from Lake Washington in 1709, followed by Botterill from San Diego and Bushman from White Marsh. We, we do have a bit of a jump now in front of CBC is bow number 14, Raina Kershaw from Minneapolis. USD alum. And then bow number nine, uh, right behind her from Rutgers, Margaret Check. She's uh, studying civil engineering uh, down in Providence. Uh, Rutgers. Uh, Rutgers, yep. excuse me. 
16. And bow 16 from Lake Washington, uh, Carolyn Newbert, who trained at the uh, collegiate and elite level in Germany uh, during high school. So fast junior, then joined um, Lake Washington Rowing Club after, a, after taking a 10 year break. And then on the Boston side of the river. From the Harlem River uh, Rowing Club in New York, Leslie Farouz Abad Nagu, studying architecture at Cooper Union right now. 13. 13. From Bowdoin, bow number 13, Kendall Brainan, uh, second year of rowing. Um, highlights in her first year were a bronze at the New England Rowing Championships. Give it a second. And bow number seven from Community Rowing, Emily Grevin. And that second is Second time Emily, rowing the head of the Charles. Uh, that's Emily on the Boston side, yep, on the Cambridge in the red, side. In the red hull. Uh, which we couldn't actually see from our vantage point. And from, uh, on, the, on the Cambridge side, from Rose City in Portland, Oregon, uh, Riley Brooks. Yes, looks like Riley took a slightly longer angle around the turn, but she made a good move to get the uh, the better racing line through yeah, the bridge. We've got three singles flying in formation towards the Elliott Bridge. 19, 22, 20. 19. Yep. Bow number 19 from the Olympia Area Rowing Club, Stephanie Krupp. Bow number 22 from Green Racing Project in Craftsbury, Simone uh, Vorperian, who's a Penn grad from Madison, ready to rumble. <laughs> An engineer with the best of them. I'd say it's engineering <laughs> putting three singles under the Elliott at the same oh, yes. time. Just wait till you see three eights going under at the same time. Yeah. Bow 21 from CRI, Laura Anhalt, former BU six seat, two time Patriot League championship. And then on the Boston side, out in front of this next yep, pack. Yep, they got some stripes from Riverside. Um, Ariana Lee, sweeper, switched over to sculling. Then bow number 17, uh, Claire Pace from Long Beach. And pulling up the, the third member of that pack is Avril Framark from Cambridge. That's, uh, of course, CBC, uh, our headquarters for the head of the Charles. And through Cambridge, we did have a lead change. Um, uh, Vorporian from Green, from Green Racing Project is now the leader here by nine seconds. So we'll see how she does in the last 700 meters of the course. And bow 28, another Green Racing Project um, sculler, Kathleen Castle, who's a, a recent URI grad from Florida. Now she's up in Vermont. They have seasons up in northern Vermont. <laughs> yes, they do. Some fantastic foliage. And then uh, behind her is Valerie Spiegel. Spiegel? And, Spiegelful? And, and from Occoquan, white oars with red and black stripes on the tips from Occoquan. Valerie um, Spigthal. Chased by Kyra McClary in that indigo colored hull. Uh, former rower out of Old Dominion and Smith College. And we can see as the big boats start heading downstream, the crowds on the bridge are starting to build. They bring their fans. In front of us now is Julie Rodriguez out of St. Paul, Minnesota. Yes, the, the big boats, uh, you know, it's... Big, big, it, the, big, the big, big crowds. They're, they're fun and, to watch, and, and naturally, you got nine people per crew. You, you can't see it from the bridge, but we can see them heading downstream inside the white safety buoys. It's a real Congo line right now. In front of us now is Sophia Gaines uh, from Greater Columbus. She's got a fun trivia fact here. She owns three chickens. Yeah, so rowers are allowed to self-submit bios for the announcers to uh, talk about them. So she, this is probably the fourth time she's heard about her chickens coming down the course. And from uh, Community Rowing, 
crossing CBC, Jillian Ross, bow number 23, followed by bow number 27 from Simmons, Samantha Kelsey. And then being chased by another CRI rower, uh, Yu Liu, uh, training out of CRI as well. Yep. Second time racing in the club single, but many times up and down the Charles every morning. And then a little bit of a jump. One of our striped friends downriver, uh, Hannah Wayman Steele, one of our Riverside rowers, she played D3 volleyball and then learned to row. Yeah, so sculling is, sculling, master sculling can be a late entry sport. You can get some very good athletes coming into this from other, other, uh, other events. Yes, for those of you who are not experienced rowers, uh, rowing is actually fantastic on the joints. So if you played a high impact sport like volleyball, a transition to rowing may actually make sense for your longevity. Uh, and just passing us was Jenny Whitecomb and Nicola Lawless. Yeah, Jenny, uh, Jenny's out of Willamette in Portland. She's also very, very involved in, in, in leadership um, with U.S. rowing on the uh, uh, DEI um, um, front. 25-year rower, but her first singles race at the head. So <laughs> welcome to Boston, Jenny. <laughs> and in front of us now is Brooke Downs from UC Santa Barbara and Sarah Fish rowing for uh, Clarkson University. Uh, we have most of our competitors coming through. We should yeah, expect and, and, uh, and like on the on more the more. on the lead table right now. Vuparian um, uh, uh, from GRP is still uh, our leader um, at finish line 2020. Um, followed by Lee from Riverside, followed by Northey from Lake Washington. In front of us now, we have one of our international competitors joining us, uh, Mara Jones from Argonaut. Great program out of Toronto. Uh, member of the Canadian national team 2002 through 2006. Uh, Four-time lightweight world champion uh, and a member of the Olympic double. Uh, has been a member of Riverside as well. So a uh, very uh, storied and awarded rower. And it looks like we have perhaps two more, two more boats in this event. Should go. That's the next event. Three, yeah. Uh, so this is bow number one coming down the course. So really? please excuse okay. me, that is well, the they're, next they're, yeah, event. They're, they're coming at you hard and fast today. No breaks between races. So event so 12. This, this, is bow, this is event 12, the 30 and 40 women's single course record. In the, in the 30 plus is Jevy Stone's 2022 time of 1910. Um, the, um, the, the 40 plus is Shannon Kaplan's record of 1942. Which that is Shannon who and just here passed is us. Shannon. Shannon's a Penn AC sculler down in Philadelphia. Um, Shannon loves the head of the Charles, says it's her favorite race. She's won it several times. That helps. Um, and hopeful, um, hopefully this is the, this, the, the next year will be the year she can convince her cat to be her coxswain. Okay, <laughs> that, that, well, welcome back to Boston, Shannon. <laughs> uh, she, she did try to break her own record you last year. You write it, year. we write it, we close. read it, yeah. And right behind her was Aisha Chow, okay, who just passed from, us. Yeah, from, from Bear Island, um, Aisha Chow. In front of us. And from Hydro, um, um, Aisha uh, Rafe. Who's overtaken? She's a two-time Olympian, and she's who's overtaken, over, who's Mary, overtaken Kel Mary Kaleda, the course Kaleda, record holder. Me. Sorry, last year's um, last year's winner. No, she didn't win that last year. She had her name on a course record and something else, didn't she? Yeah. Or went, she uh, I think we misspoke there. Sorry, yeah. Mary Sorry, has the misspoke. course record for the women's club For the club singles. singles. Right. So she has graduated to the, uh, the, the right. Masters. Exactly. That was 2022. And in front of us now approaching our dock. From Olympia um, area rowing club, Eleanor Aiello. And she has overtaken uh, bow number seven. From Hanlon, um, um, Eline Brett Evans. Who is uh, fighting off another Austrian rower. Right. From Ruderven, Austria, um, Heather Moon Vogels, who's uh, another Stripes alum. Yeah, Heather has um, actually won the head of the Charles 
several times as the lightweight single sculler. It, it does so we'll, help we'll look having and, we'll that. We'll look and see how Heather does <laughs> is on the splits. And just uh, looking back at the previous event, our unofficial results show top two podium spots going to Project Green Racing or Green Racing Project. Through CBC in this race, Kaplan um, is in 1652, followed by um, Hydro's uh, Ra Rafael uh, in 1656, followed by Bear Island. In front Island's of Chow. us right now, another Riverside rower, uh, Lana, Ilana or Ilana? Ilana. Ilana, uh, Ilana Zeif. Zeif. Yep. Zeif. Yep. Who loves her dog? Which again, self-submitted bios, so if you tell us to say it, we will say it. Uh, Catherine Infantino from Union, another one of our neighbors. Uh, this is her 26th consecutive. 26th the consecutive. Which uh, we've only had 59 of them, so that is That's, more uh, than uh, half. Yeah. yeah. She started when she was 10. Wow. <laughs> And entering the bridge now is bow number 10. From Independence um, Rowing Club up in Nashua, Aaron uh, Lalmond. And, uh, it, you know, it's Masters Rowing. There's a lot of life coming at you. Um, Aaron, uh, seven days prior to last year's race, was diagnosed with a rare stage three cancer. So she's here uh, racing today as, a, as part of the Warrior and Survivor. 30-year uh, rower with 10 years of head of the Charles. Um, is feeling particularly blessed to be here and participate in the race this year with her friends and family. Of course, we are very happy that she's here with us as well. Um, on that note, we actually have a Survivor exhibition row this afternoon. Uh, crossing the bridge right now, bow number 13. Yeah, bow number 13 from Don Rowing up in uh, uh, Missaguac, uh, Ontario, Leslie Smith, very credentialed master sculler, followed by bow 14, Libby Bogosian from Riverside, Ghost Stripes, 19th head of the Charles yes, this year. That, that is her in the orange hat, and behind her in the high visibility green hat, blue hull is Lily Matchin. Uh, she she rode at BU and uh, now rows for Stonington Rowing out of Connecticut. I think that was one of the ones we missed. But we'll see. Docker bonus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, well, we got CBC. Is it CBC Blades? Yeah. Uh, 16. 16. Okay, bow number 16 from Cambridge Boat Club, Elizabeth Avery. 11 marathons, plenty of aerobic base, racing in Italy later this year also for Cambridge. Go Liz! Followed by bow number 18, Louisa Palmer, keeping the dream alive. Yes, high visibility green, high visibility pink, easy to spot on you this river. It, you write it, we say it. Yes, that is the motto here. Well, let's put it this way. We do have somebody go over what everybody writes. Yes, that yes. was me. Yeah, uh, yeah. I went through and I yeah. sanitized many things yeah. because everybody <laughs> thinks they're funny. Yeah, we don't say everything you write. Uh, 17. Bow number 17 now. from Narragansett. Megan Delaney, third year competing for uh, Narragansett. White oars with blue stripes. Followed by Buffalo's Lori Criado. Wow. Uh, has been racing since 2013, welcoming seven babies along the way. Wow. That is Masters Rowing. Yeah, 10 years of rowing and, and seven, seven kids. kids. Wow. <laughs> she ranks me. Uh, from Austria, Leichhardt. Um, sorry, Australia. My bad. Very uh, similar uh, abbreviations. Uh, Leichhardt Sydney, from Sydney, Australia. Nikki Lepresti. Well, welcome to our hemisphere, Nikki. Uh, hopefully the weather is to your liking. But now in front of us, we have Maine Coast Rowing's Patricia Jones. Yeah, and Patty Jones, uh, if I remember correctly, is a Cambridge Boat Club kid. 
and a professor up at Bowdoin. She grew up here. Went to school across the street at BBNN. Go Patty! And from Union, um, Chandra Grimm, who's a uh, ultra marathoner. Um, We'll be doing the Vermont 50 um, at the end of September, so that's that's that that'll get your aerobic wow, base ready for this so race. Far. And from Thames Rowing Club in 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 in, in London, uh, Joanne Harris, bow number 23, longtime member of of of, of Thames. And approaching us now is Sarah Kate Snyder from Alexandria. That's Alexandria, Virginia. Uh, avid sculler since she was 14, uh, rode at Notre Dame, and also placed first in last year's Head of the Charles, or Head of the... Head of the Occoquan. Occoquan. Yep. And also placed uh, at the Schuylkill. So she's had a lot of recent results. Out in front, 27. 27. In front of CBC, Casey McKenna Monroe overtaking bow number 29 from Vancouver, Haley Clark. And 28. And bow number 28 in front of CBC, Jessica Macleer. And 25. Who has taken, overtaken bow 25 from AFG, Afghanistan. Mm. Country code AFG. Uh, Shaban Flynn. That doesn't sound like an Afghan name. I don't know. Let's get our country code next year's announcing kit. Yeah. Live mic. <laughs> the, the country codes are live dump from Regatta Central, so whatever they have. What we got here? 34. In front of CBC, bow number 34, Brenna McCarnity. Go Stripes from Riverside. And we've got a group of six or seven. 38. Bow number 38 in front of CBC, Libby McCann, 21st head of the Charles. Wow. And bow number 40 out in front of this pack of rowers approaching us. From Don Rowing Club, Sarah Pigeon. Uh, is Don out of uh, Ontario? Yeah, out of, out of yeah, Masada. Bow number 30 in front of us now with the pink and blue blades. With the pink and blue blades from Strokes and Transition in Ann Arbor, Willow Piper Arts. And bow number 36 in the Blue Hull. Bow number 36 in the Blue Hull, Cincinnati Rowing Club. New Zealand in the Black Hull. Followed by from New Zealand, Auckland, um, Carolyn DeLong. And 35 in the Embarker Union. 35 okay. from Union Boat Club, number 35, Kristen Hahn. And. Bow number 33, orange. Bow number 33 in orange from Greater Columbus, Larissa West. Followed by bow number 35 from Union, Kristen Hahn. And, and a quick and shout out to bow number 30 who went by a little bit earlier, um, Willow. Um, so Strokes in Transition, um, Willow's a transgender athlete and it Strokes in Transition is an organization promoting visibility and acceptance for transgender gender non-conforming athletes. And in front of us now is bow number 31, uh, Caitlin Bannister from ZLAC. Uh, from ZLAC. ZLAC? Yes, oh, this is what the, I yeah, was yeah, told yeah, it was yeah, pronounced yeah, ZLAC earlier uh, okay, today. Okay, well, well, yeah, okay, there you go. So uh, they're out of San Diego. Yeah, uh, Caitlin Bannister. Hopefully we'll have some of that San Diego weather this afternoon. Yeah. And Caitlin is uh, uh, Mike Bannister's uh, daughter. Uh, Mike Bannister's a longtime Riverside um, Master Sculler. Followed by bow number 37, East Arm, Laura 
Petrucci, equestrian turned rower. See again, when you're talking about the club and the Masters singles, uh, you have a lot of athletes who joined rowing later in life rather than starting with rowing. I, I, I think I think the relationship with your horse and your relationship with your single skull, I mean, you know, you, 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 you treat it right, it, 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 it treats you right. You probably don't have to feed your skull quite as often though. <laughs> And so in event 12, there are 40 competitors. I think we have a couple more coming down the course. Uh, yeah. As we said before, sometimes there's a little bit of a kerfuffle at the start. So you never know, might get started out of order. And I see, do I see a double? Mm -hmm. I do see a double coming. And we can already.